the schools provide also more mental health. They need to have more counselors. They need to have more social workers. They need to have the more wraparound services there, and that takes money. Um, when you have children that come to school that, one, haven't had breakfast, they don't have food, one in five children in this county are food deprived, and we're sending food home on the weekend to feed them for the weekend. Or you have children coming to school in the morning because they've been up all night taking care of the baby because the mother's at work. Or they don't have clothes or nobody's washed them for weeks. So we need those kind of wraparound services in the school with washing machines and dryers where we can wash clothes and we can feed those children and have a food bank where the health nurse comes and gives the shot so they don't miss a whole month of school because they haven't had their vaccinations to come to kindergarten. That's what we need in our public school systems, especially our school systems that are going to be in the inner city. Because that fact of the matter of the district lines, that's not going to change for two years, if ever, in my opinion. So if we're not going to integrate, and I don't know that that works, then I would say let's take the schools where they are, build the community around it, and put the services in there that they need to make those children successful. Put the training in there. We have people coming in all the time to talk about training and how to be reflective and look inside and not look through white eyes. Because it is. It's a white eyes. It's a perspective. Your reality is your reality. We have to learn what our children's reality is. 